Hello everybody, today is day 16 of make a video and two hour challenge and today uh, we're going to be going over computer science. Going forward, Tuesdays are going to be our computer science and programming days. So every week I'll just be uploading a new video uh, on, on computer science or programming. Probably for the next few weeks it's going to be mostly computer science heavy just to really lay groundwork for what computers are, why they're important, what we need to um, how we need to think about them. So without further ado, let's get into the basics of computers, and that is the information that computers send and share, which is digital. And so therefore, what is what, what is the definition of digital? It's the storage of information as a sequence belonging to a set of discrete values. So sequence, this means that um, this bit of information has some importance. The order of the bits, the order of the values has importance. That's what a sequence is. What does discrete mean? Discrete means individually separate and distinct. This is th this means that no two values uh, are can be the exact same thing. Um, think of uh, think of the values uh, zero through nine. 1 cannot be 2, 2 cannot be 3, 3 cannot be 0, 0 cannot be 9. Each of these values has a very characteristic quality that cannot be changed. That's what the meaning of discrete is. And just to show you the difference between an analog signal and a digital signal. So digital stands as opposed to analog. Now, when I'm speaking to you, I am producing an analog signal. I am uh, I am forcing air through my vocal cords that is causing them to vibrate, which is then causing the air to vibrate. The, the vibrations then travel. Now, imagine that you were sitting here with me and I'm speaking to you. The, the process of me exciting the, the airwaves, those airwaves then going out and hitting your eardrum that process is entirely analog okay there is no it, you can't tell where one signal uh where one where one beat of the of the airwaves um uh, begins and the other one ends the uh, um the, the vibrations of the chords you can't really tell where one begins and one ends there isn't a harsh uh a harsh distinction between them you can get very very close I'm sorry I'm bumping my mic uh, you can get very very close in your analysis and getting uh, more and more finer tuned um, down to the nano level but you never actually achieve true clarity of of the signal you will always have some signal loss because you can't measure that finally and if we see this on a line, on a curve, we see here that um, an analog signal is what is called, it, it's, a, it's what's known as a smooth or continuous signal. This, bit, this means if it's smooth and continuous, that means that there are an infinite number of values that could be on this point. Whereas a digital signal, you see that there are very harsh delineations between one uh, between one value and the next. These are known as jumps, right? This would be uh, this would be a jagged a jagged signal. Okay, so that's that's what an analog signal looks like versus a digital signal. Now, what are why would we want a digital signal? There are lots of reasons, but one of the main reasons is that it possesses the unique quality of easy reproduction or relatively easy reproduction. Uh, think of think of uh, copywork in the in the uh, medieval ages or the Renaissance. Well, what is that? That is the sharing of information. That's the transmission of information. Was it easy to reproduce that information? Hardly. You would have to go to you know, it, let's say, for instance, that someone wanted to commission a new Bible to be written. They would have to go to a monastery and they would say, uh, for, for such and such an amount of money, I want, I, I want a fellow to take time out of his day to sit down with a pen in one hand and paper, paper that you had to source somewhere, ink that you had to make somewhere, and I want him to copy this, this uh, manuscript as perfectly as he can. 
there were still going to be errors. The strokes were going to be a little bit different. Each one was going to be unique in some way. This was not an easy reproduction. Compare that to this, this PDF, for instance, that I'm sharing the information on. It took me, it took me what, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes probably, to, to write all this information out if I didn't have to think about it. And then I could save it and I could copy it. And then if, if one, if this document were viewed by a million people and each person got one copy of that, it would happen within what, seconds? I could make a million copies of these in, in, in probably just a few minutes. Think about the difference between that. And that is what a digital, that's what a digital, um, uh, uh, a digital form of information allows you to accomplish easy reproduction. Now, what's an example of digital in the, in the realm of computers? Well, the binary system, this is the foundation upon which all of digital information is built in the modern era. And what is binary? It's a sequence of zeros and ones that's used to express information. Binary standing for two. It's either a zero or it's a one. It can't be anything else. Now, what is the word origin of digital? Uh, the word origin is, uh, well, let's take a look at its root. The root indicates a numeral between 0 and 9, 0 and 9. And it comes from the Latin digitus, meaning finger or toe. So notice here, 0 to 9. How many numerals is that? 10. So how many fingers do we have? 10. Now you see the connection. Now, the reason for this is that counting in daily life was originally done using fingers and toes. So you saw that, that connection that we had this discrete counting system, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Or if I started at 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 values that I could, uh, I could keep track of. That's a discrete value. It's either on or it's off. It's either on or it's off. Three is either on or it's off or it's, you know, four is not the same as three. So you see how even using using um, your fingers and and uh, toes, I'm not going to show you my feet, uh, that you could record information. Now, from this, from the idea that we can store information digitally, uh, we then have the idea of a digital revolution. What is the digital revolution? It's the morphing of human societies through an increased use of computational devices and systems. So electronics uh, send, store, and receive information digitally. What areas of human society are touched by uh, are touched by uh, um, computational devices? This is just the briefest of of uh, of lists, but and and each of these lists can then be further fractionalized and made even finer grained. Learning, for instance, I'm presenting this video to you. I'm talking to you through a digital interface. Goods production. Think of Amazon, eBay. Um, uh, uh, you know, too many different aspects of good production to to even think about are touched by uh, uh, computers. Farming, so many uh, aspects of modern farming is made possible because of the use of computers. Uh, security, whether that's personal security, uh, national security, um, um, aspects of the military, increasingly reliant on computers. Uh, think of aspect of uh, just think of spying for instance what did you have to do to spy in the old days you know before computers well you actually had to have a guy there on the ground looking recording and then and then remembering and then writing on a piece of paper and then talking about it later nowadays what do you do you send in a drone you send in a completely computerized device in order to spy on your enemy that that signal then that is sent to you is is digital. Amazing, really. And then looking at social interaction. So many aspects of social interaction now occur completely in the computer realm, in the digital realm. And then finally, entertainment. Um, not only uh, you know, this platform that I'm sharing this video on, YouTube, it is a digital, it's a digital platform. It is completely existing within 
within the realm of computers. Um, yeah, not only YouTube, not only video sharing, but um, commercial, um, the commercial entertainment industry, Hollywood, uh, the music industry, so reliant on computers. It's, it, it's really amazing when you think about it. You stop and you think about so many aspects of society, uh, so, so many aspects of how we derive our entertainment. Try and imagine what it would be like without computers. It's it's almost impossible. So we see here that it it, it touches it, it, it touches human life in all these areas: learning, goods production, farming, security, social interaction, entertainment. And now, one thing to th uh, to think about is that the digital revolution does not happen in a vacuum. It's merely a continuation of the process of increased human reliance on technology and automation. Think about it, whether it was the Metal Ages, Bronze Age, Iron Age, um, uh, moving forward into the Industrial Revolution, and finally the Digital Revolution. We see that in each, each step forward for man, it has been that he relies more and more on his tools. He doesn't rely so much on his physical strength, his own mental abilities, his own uh, abilities to, to, you know, to even speak. Like, for instance, imagine, yeah, imagine I, let's say this video is being watched by someone in, in Brazil. I'm in California, but someone's in Brazil. I could not physically make my voice heard in Brazil. Yet, because I rely on a digital system, I can be heard the world over. I could even be heard in space, if need be. In fact, the information might be going out to space and then coming back. Think of the powers of, of, of computers. So, with that, we conclude our first video on computer science, the concept of the digital revolution. What, what does digital mean? So, join me next week in which we go on uh, to our next video uh, 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 in this series on computer science. Um, and have a, have a wonderful day. Go out and do something with a computer. But also remember to have a little bit of real life thrown in there as well. <laughs> real life. Bye-bye.